Yeah, though, if you're going to do uh, two weapon fighting like that there, I would definitely recommend taking the feet there, because otherwise you're going to be at pretty significant penalties to the attack roll. Yeah, I mean, she won't do it right now, but I think we'll have to see. I don't know when she gets another feet. Right now, here's what it looks like. Think. Which one one? Um... No, that's not bad. Ugh. Actually, actually, I will, since it's disruption, it can harm undead. Actually, the disruption, it won't do any damage to the undead. Yeah, it's a save or be destroyed. But if you hit it, it's got to save or be destroyed. Yeah, and yeah, we know your rolls, Tom. Yeah, that's going to be, like, automatic. What does Billy yeah. do? Well, it is brilliant, brilliant energy. Uh, actually, anything you come up against that has armor or shield. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, the, it ignores armor and shield. It does not ignore magical, I mean, uh, natural armor. But, um, so they would get, they would only get Natural armor, yeah, deflection and deflection. Okay, uh, so speaking of which, I think we're about ready to set up, guys, because it's already after three. Yep, and, yep. and I've got the three attacks and the haste attack, and so I think it's ready. All right, sounds I think good. It is, looks, looks good. It. And hello, and welcome to our discussion on uh, two-weapon fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Something I'm already brilliant in. Of course. Well, I, I, actually, uh, Andrea got a nice little thing, but I'm going to have to redo the cert. Remind me that. After yes. I will remind you of that after the, after the mod today, babe. I will okay. remind you. And now having said that, yeah, hi, campers. Hi, kids. How we doing? Hi campers and welcome to yet another day of Living City of Raven's Club. Hooray! Yay! And there was and there was much rejoicing. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. And there were many gooses as well. Yes. Um, yeah, you gotta love the gooses. Yeah, let everybody know that uh program first of all that this uh, stream is created for adults by adults who don't act like adults. If you're 13 or under, get out of here. See ya. Yes. All right. Uh, quick programming note. Uh, next week will be Saturday, 3 p.m. Yay. Sounds hey, good well, to me. Hey, we're back to our normal schedule for once. Yep. And also, we should level today. Hey. Yay! It's level. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and now, having said all that, let's get started. <laughs> today's adventure LCRB HL number 110 Backstreet Justice, originally written by a fellow Michigander named. John Wyatt. Uh, this was not written under the auspices of our RPGA game club, but we did play test the hell out of it. Um, the blurb, which I'm posting in, in the back streets, justice hides beneath the faces of the abandoned, hurtful, and jaded peoples of Raven's Club. Whether these acts are good or evil does not matter as long as justice or vengeance is served. These folks justice does not follow the laws of Raven's Bluff. It has rules all its own. An adventure recommended for characters level 17 to 20 and this is a knight approved adventure. Woohoo, that's always fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think this is the first of like four in a row night approved adventures. Yeah, because I know you said we had four in a row coming up. Yep, I think this is the first one. Oh. 
as we begin today's adventure, although it is another day in the broth, everything seems at peace. There have been no battles in the streets, demons wreaking havoc, buildings collapsing. There hasn't even been a single fire. Perhaps you, uh, <laughs> perhaps you will be able to rest from your hard duties as city savior today and enjoy the delights of the city. It is currently early afternoon. Find time to find some food and drink. You can always come over to my place. Yet, and we are all together just roaming the streets, basking in the adoration. <laughs> no, Morova looking for an undead horde. Or, of no, course. No, Morova. That'd be nice. Yeah, you're in the city. You're not allowed to do this, remember? But yet, as you pass the fabled Crescent Moon Inn, the smell of death and blood lingers in the air. Whoa, why did they cook it over there? You're ruining your appetite. You hear scuffling sounds within the inn. Perhaps today is not a day for relaxation after all. Apparently not. Yes, well, we better uh, get on in there and see what they're cooking. And... All right. Well, as you enter the dining area of the Crescent Moon Inn, you witness a horrid sight. Body, blood and body parts are scattered all around the room. You see parts of humans, elves, halflings, and gnomes here and there among the spider's blood. A large, let's see here, a large gray scaly, let me see where you guys at. Oh yeah, a large gray uh, scaly humanoid lizard-like creature stands near the kitchen door chewing on a woman's severed leg. Oh. Blood, blood flows from several gashes in its scaly hide. Oh, crap. Uh, Alright, who opened up the buffet for the lizard folk? Somebody opened up a can of whoop ass. Was it me? <sighs> And you can see them there behind the bar in the uh, in the kitchen area. We are down here, but we can yeah. see them. Uh, we yep. have seen we have seen these creatures before. Just these steps. They are well close. They're troglodytes. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, aren't those troglodytes, babe? <laughs> yeah, that would explain the stench. Ugh. I just oh, plugged my nose. Of course it explains it. Yeah, they're all called butter knives. Uh, the troglodytes would just simply go on a group initiative. Yeah. They're not going to get their asses kicked when somebody throws out the Thanos. Uh, well, come on here. We are in the middle of a fine eating establishment there, although it's probably going to take several days worth of cleaning to get this place back up and running. Well, a couple flame strikes will take care of them. Uh, you not 20 on that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Actually, the, but I'm still going like, first. I think you can still bring cannons and just mash them guys instead with that beat. Uh, of boys and girls. What the fuck is that? I already did. Not bad, Aurelia. A selective spell. I think that's what it is. Well, Look at me over that 20. Holy, wow. I know. We're, the heck We're just burning our nat 20s early today, aren't we? Oh, way down here. There's me. You guys are. <laughs> hey! I rolled good. Yeah. And let's see. 
Uh, Bobo's Mama rolls. <laughs> Bobo Mama didn't roll too bad. Gotta change her mini. Oh shit. She uses a shield, dude. She can't use a quarter staff. Crap. Um, oh dear. Now we have to change the circuit all over again. <laughs> no. Got She'll it. have to get her shield armor class, but that's something else. Um. Yeah, especially since he's going to be getting the armor. The better what, armor class. What would, um. I don't know what you can replace a shield with, though. Buckler? Yeah, buckler works. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, Jolana, Sakura, Declan, Kira, Morova, Aurelia, and the bad guys. I so, now, Jolana, I will let you know right now. These guys are just out of charge range. Damn it. <laughs> so what you could do... To let me shoot them all? Well, you could do this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can move up to here and shoot one arrow. Okay. And then next round, charge and get one attack with your sword. All right, so you did, uh, now you are not within 30 feet, because you were just short of it. Uh, which one are you shooting at? Whichever one's directly in front of me. <laughs> That'd be this one here. Yeah. He'll take, he'll take six points. Okay. Sakura! Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, hmm. Let's see. They're bunched up. They're all within about 20 feet of one another here. How about a holy smite right smack dab in the middle of the group? Here, which is a 20-foot radius burst. Okay. So, where are you putting it? Right there? Yep. Dead center. That should catch everybody. Yep. Not great damage, seven, but yeah, that seven, 17 damage. Mm -hmm. And they they have to make a will save. Yep, DC 25, please. Okay. Put a lightsaber in oh. and a. Oh, holy shit. Like, like, you can make her weapons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they need 20s. Uh, if they fail, they just take the damage, or are they stunned or what? Uh, they oh, are blind. blind. Yep. Okay. That's a fail. That's a fail. Yeah, they need it's still a fail. <laughs> it's still a fail. <sighs> it's a fail. Welcome back. <laughs> that was close. Yep. That was close, but it was a spell. Oh, that's close as well. Yep. But it's still a fail. Yep. That's definitely a fail. Yep, 
that's a fail. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get that back rank. Uh, if I center it right down the middle here, here that puts everything within 20 feet. Okay, yeah, it will. Oh, that was a nat one. That's a mega fail. <laughs> Super mega. <laughs> Yeah, incredible fail! Unbelievable yeah. fail! Oh, another unbelievable another fail! Mega. Almost made it, <laughs> but not quite. Does it fail? Oh, another 19. Yeah. We're being consistent with the 19s today, at least. That's another major fail. Boop, 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 boop. final one and it looks like they've all failed it yep, yep they have indeed every single one of them aha uh -huh. well there is, there is a good news in my in, in my bill tonight these things all have blind fight All right. Okay, Sakura. Uh, yeah, that was my turn. Okay, then we come to Declan. Okay, let's see. Well, uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna cast a spell. Well, no, we're inside a establishment. Yeah. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, I might not want to cast a spell. Let me see. Um. about that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm just gonna start shooting them. I'll start with uh this guy back here. Okay, you're gonna start now. let's start on the back row. I'll just work my way this way. Alright. Starting on the back row. Yes. Uh, they're perfectly lined up for lightning bolts or fireballs, but I can't do that here. Um, so, let's see. These things are actually classed troglodytes. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. I see, so, I see at least one crit in there. Okay. Uh, their AC is 16, so you're going to hit on everything. But they are uh, troglodyte fifth level fighters, so they actually got the hit points behind them. All right, we'll start off with 11. Actually, let me start off with 17 because my way starts off with 11, 21, oh, 31, 38, okay. Second attack is the hit and the crit that will kill that one uh the third attack starts off with a 17 
from that. And uh, we have 14, 19, 11, that's 30. So that's 47. And then the fourth attack kills him. The rapid shot starts off with 17. Uh, 1528. And then the hasted attack will kill that one. So, Chris had shot six arrows, took out three of them. Kira! You're up. Why don't you go try your new weapon out? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Well, uh, you're gonna have to. She can just do a double move this round. Yeah. I could do a double move this time. You'll get up to here. Okay. That's 60. Okay. There you go. I don't think you're going to be able to um, do that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can, can run, does running add any extra movement? Nope. No. Yeah, plus you have to have a straight line to it. Because it's charging. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I'm within 70 feet. Uh, let's see, 70 feet would put it uh, right there. And, um, pretty much they would have to all, they, they all have to make a fort safe. I'm hoping the fort safe sucks. <laughs> if the fort. Uh, no, actually the 14 is at plus 10, but this is a necromancy spell, which means the DC is 30, they need 20s. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and if they fail it, they take 180 points of damage. Ouchie. Wow. Starting off rough, aren't you? Dead. 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 <laughs> Dead. Dead. Damn dead. 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 Close. Dead. Close, but no cigar. Dead. No cigar. Dead. Dead. No, I spent my roll, my uh, nat twenties, on uh, <laughs> my roll's uh, initiative. I noticed. <laughs> Two left. One left. Does he make it? Oh, he made it. 
and, and Dead on. Yep, he had to make it. That 20. So, that now that that goes. Uh uh. <laughs> That troglodyte. I want to play with a troglodyte. <laughs> that troglodyte just saw 20 people, uh, 19 of his friends, die before he even acted. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's running! Let's see how Aurelia does here. It may be a bit of a long range stretch, but she might be able to get it. Oh yeah. With the crit? Yeah. The first one is a crit, and it will do 44 points of damage. You see... The uh, Troglodyte running all of a sudden, Aurelia's first tail hits it in the back of the head, comes out between the eyes, and it drops. Only Aurelia could get away with that. <laughs> she learned it from Quincy. Mm hmm. Actually, Quincy, doesn't, <laughs> Quincy never used a longbow, he only uses a crossbow. Alright. Um... Okay. Ah! Uh, I take it you are going to search the bar. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let me make me a perception check. Nice. Uh, you want to do a perception check? Okay, Tolana made it. What was the um, DC? Oh, <laughs> 10. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, that was to Obviously, find, most of the members of Starfleet. That was to find the one survivor. Oh, goodness. Underneath a pile of broken table bits. He is... Badly injured, she is unconscious. I've got this. You take it. <laughs> and okay, it looks yeah, like she's... That will wake her back up. Who is it? Uh, her name is Cassandra. Uh, yeah, her name is Cassandra, uh, Minstrel Wish. Right. Um, right. she is, uh, pretty frantic and overly concerned about her husband, Harold, who is in the kitchen. Mm. Well, uh, well I'm going to try to... She will tell you that several lizard-like men busted out of the kitchen and began slicing away at the patrons of the tavern. They blocked all the exits and began killing and eating people. I fear that they were I fear that they were sent to stop a meeting some of the patrons were having. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna try to calm her down a bit here before we uh, start okay, looking for this help. Anything else. Right. And um Make me another perception check. Okay. Okay. Uh, 46. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you find several items of interest. Uh, I will normally have you guys make a knowledge local check, but I will not need to because... We actually have one of them in the party. Chris. Yeah. You will find two rings. One bronze, one silver. Is that what I bronze. think it is? 
Bronze and silver hawk rings. Um, whereas, so, am I aware was her husband a member of the hawk or something? Um, her husband was not a member of the Knights of the Hawk. Do I know who these belong to? I uh, the bodies are pretty goddamn ripped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, so they're not. Like, yeah. When someone gets these rings, they're not inscribed in any way. Remember, hawks are silent. That's true. Yep. Hawks are secret. Hmm. Uh, you're one. You're one. You're one of the few open hawks, right, Chris? Yep. I'm a um. Uh. You're a black hawk mate, right? Hawk, yes. Are you a secret black hawk or open? I thought a secret. Okay then. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, there is a tattered piece of cloth with a dragon in a cloud of lightning upon it. Uh, this will be a knowledge local check. Okay. I'll hold on to those hawk rings. Okay. Then, is this possible? Oh, look at Trelana with the foot with the nat 20. Can you spend um, that on an item? Can I what? Can a person speak with dead on an item? No. No. Huh. Um... The tattered piece of cloth is the symbol of the storm dragon Merchant House. And finally you find an armband with two entwined silver serpents upon it. Uh, knowledge local? I know it's a silver serpents are, but not Declan like that. Well, these guys are not silver serpents. Oh. But you made it. Advanced so was the Specialist <laughs> Patrol. ASP. Yeah. To be what? That's what I, uh, Kiefer was asked. Quincy was Harbor Patrol. <laughs> that figures. Okay. Um. After about five minutes, a contingent of 20 City Watch members stormed the building. Um, they secured the area and they start to question you guys. They want to know all the particulars of your involvement and I... <laughs> on the, I yeah, we, I were, we were cleaning up a stench. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, okay. we have a detailed battle. Um... The only two bodies that can be recovered and identified are the inn owner, Harold Pierre, and Tosian Dolcraft of the Storm Dragon Merchant House. Uh, they are already planning on taking Harold to a temple to get raised. Okay. Okay. Um... Out back, behind the place, there is a trail of blood. So you're thinking what you faced was not all of them. Yeah, it's, yeah, we need to, I think we need to investigate this. All right. Yeah. So following the trail? Yep. It leads to a sewer entrance in the alleyway behind the inn. The sewer grate is open, and if you look down, you can see a leg floating in the sewage. Ooh. Well, Ew. Certainly weren't subtle, were they? No. Right. Well, we better, uh, we better investigate. Yeah, we better. Okay. I am. Jack has got phantom traps in the sewer, but... Yeah. I got cantrips for that. Yep. Okay. So, 
we go down into the sewers and we are trudging along just trying to find out you know it looks like they recently uh that they recently um may have passed by and now i need everybody to uh, make me a perception check dc 17. you everybody has to make it this is to avoid being surprised uh, are we even incapable of rolling 17s what am i rolling perception yep perception yes yeah, i got a plus 14. um yeah who i made it by one <laughs> jesus <laughs> yep Oh, really? It's like, huh? What? I can't believe you're old on that one on that. Yeah, no come on. Come on, that one. Those are rookie numbers, man. Those rookie numbers. Robot is also surprised. Oh, well, that's Marova's uh, general state of mind. Yeah, Marova and Aurelia are surprised as you come to a sewer intersection and you see this. You know, it's always this particular intersection that we get jumped in. I know. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, out of character, that's just paint a sign and say, warning! And ambush that's, one the, that's one of the few sewer maps I got. I'm sure we can find you some more Matt, eventually. Shut up. Okay. Um. You know what? They're gonna go on a group initiative again. Andrew, do you want normal fire or like a blue fire? Blue fire. <laughs> Oh, these troglodytes are not classed. <laughs> so these are just the regular stinkies. Yeah. And they will go on a 12. Okay, Trelana. Wow, Trelana rolls three. Really? Yep. I only rolled a five. No, uh... I almost rolled a one on uh, Marova. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, it did. It showed up here. Uh, I didn't see it come into the thing, so I'll add her in. And that was ten dot oh three. Ten dot oh three. Okay. So Carolina gets to go first. Now, this pit here, this pit here is about 20 feet deep. Now, if you want to try an acrobatics check to get either to here or here, you can. Okay, uh, what side would you like to go to? The left. You land here. You may get one attack. Of course, there's a 48. Actually, he's jumping over the pit. He's doing flips and twists and everything else. All right, it's like, okay. Uh, yes, judges, 10, 10, 10, 7.8. Must have been the Russian. Yeah. Yeah, it must be East German judge. Okay. They have not gone yet, so they are a little bit surprised. This one is a little bit surprised when you just nailed him for 65 points of damage. 
sneak attack. Ooh, I love sneakies. I really was like, huh? What oh, the wow. hell is that? <laughs> it's a troglodyte, honey. <laughs> Marova's going, Marova's going, what was what? <laughs> this gets out of the... It's the it's the girl. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I can... All right, well, I'm going to move there. Yeah, better. And I think this one needs to be shot. At, well, actually, I don't only move one. Do I have a line of sight from there? Yeah, I got a line of sight. Okay. I think I'm going to shoot him a couple times. And I, wanna, I want to see if I want to do her work. the top of a crescent staffed quarter staff be made of like metal could be metal shot metal or well it's like a this she had it it was on her back before on the mini it okay. looks like a it's like a big okay. sword, a C okay. so okay so kicking the boots of speed and then uh the okay uh I'll tell you this right now. Uh, these first three attacks will kill this one. All right, and then uh, let's put the last one on the one right behind him. That one? Mm-hmm. You want it to be silver? Okay. The troglodytes go. Well, you know what's going to happen here. This one's going to try to go for me. <laughs> so you'll get three people attacking you with your Oh, joy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They only have a plus one to hit. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. It's a miss. That's a miss. Which gives you all the details required for your journey. These six. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And that's as far as they can move because this would be considered difficult terrain. Pretty much, uh, they're swimming towards you. Declan? Yep. Uh, well, we're under the city now. Yeah. Um, do I think oh. anything? Oh, God. It's, it's not like toxic fumes down here that I'm going to blow up or nothing if I... You don't smell any methane. <laughs> I, I'm fire Not unless it comes out your butt. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, I'm gonna fire. Oh, up. actually, you know you could fireball them with what? A lightning bolt. They're in water. Uh, okay. Well, it does the same damage, but um, yeah, but it would get them all. The emerald of lightning yeah, bolt would get that. them all. I'll do that. Except uh, for the except for the. Uh, five that are on uh, Trelana. Lightning bolt. Uh, uh boom. Zorch. Okay, they need to make saving throws. Uh, this species yep. is DC 21. Nice. Yep, and the oh. it's a reflex. <laughs> Ready for this? Yeah. The, the, re the reflex is at minus one. Uh, yeah. Do you want it to be a first staff, or do you like to put some staff? Because I can make it a uh, large flame. Do you like the large flame, or do you want it to speed? Like They've all held so far. Medium strike. Oh, 
Let's see what's in there. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that one twentied. But at a minus one, it only came out to a nineteen. But it's a natural twenty. It automatically makes. Okay. Besides which, uh, so thirty-seven half would be sixteen. Uh, it doesn't matter. He didn't have enough hit points. He's done that way. He's even a half. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. 14 hit points each. This is an easy encounter. Kira? You're up. Chris, Kira. Yeah. She's, she's the one. She's just talking or thinking, I think. I don't know. What, um, why don't you just fire uh, flame strike them? Good. All right. Yep. All right. Flame strike. Do you have, are you able to do it? Okay. My thing seems to, it kicks back in just now. Okay. Please play. If she does uh, more than 28 points of damage, these things are dead. <laughs> Yeah, just get the whole area, including Tirana. She she can make a reflex save. Oh, hell yeah, I can make a reflex. Okay. Tirana, make me a reflex. Oh, you made the reflex save, so you evade. And these guys. This? Oh, I'll go bye bye. <laughs> You know, the reflex is my best save because of the fact that I'm a rogue. I have that thing. Okay. Oh, so, I something, something, um, set these troglodytes on you, or at least on the, uh, on the Crescent Moon Tavern. Right. However, yeah. the trail ends here. So, so now, there you go. Maybe we should question who was at. <laughs> oh, stop yawning. Sorry, my bad. Uh, let's find out who may have been in there. Behind it. Uh, well. If they're maybe breaking up a meeting, who was at that meeting? Well, we know there was a couple of Knights of the Hawk involved here. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Maybe we need to uh, have a little chit chat with them, perhaps. Well, that's not something. I think so. I could probably talk to them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, people we can talk with would be City Watch. Yeah. The Storm Dragon Merchant House. Um, the Knights of the Hawk. Yeah. Um, pretty much um, an organization which will remain nameless. Namely, the Four Ravens. I knew what you meant. That's why I didn't say a damn word, babe. <laughs> so maybe we should um where should we start well oh. let's see you know you could do the city watch the storm dragon merchant house the uh, hawk knights and I'll talk to the four ravens and the four ravens Hey Tom. Yeah. Do you remember offhand um, 
the features that were on that leather that Andrea was getting. She's not wearing it right now. No, she's getting it. And she's not getting it. And we didn't, she didn't come up anytime soon. I just wonder if you thought I did. I don't know. We got on, on her armor? Yeah. Uh, actually, for her, I didn't have any armor okay. listed. Uh, I've got a wild winged heavy wooden shield plus five. Which will have to make a buckler now. Right? Oh, yeah. winged? That means. Yep. That you, well, still probably be a buckler, I guess. Um, just in case she's got to pull it to her hand. Okay. Andrea? What do you want this to be? Okay. All right. So, who would you like to talk to first? Well, I'll probably... Sh I imagine Terlana's going to talk to her people by herself. Yeah. I'll probably run and talk to the Knights of the Hawk. Okay. Myself. So why don't we get... All right. Uh, Aurelia will go check the City Watch. Okay. To find out if we uh, know who got killed. Uh, among the carmenative bodies in the Crescent Moon Inn, Carol Pierre from the Crescent Moon Inn, Tosian Dulkraus of the Storm Dragon Merchant House, Cassandra was still alive. She uh, actually is a member of mm, that organization. Hey, what would you say about my organization? <laughs> um, an ASP and two Hawk Knights. And the, their identities are unknown at this time. Um, I might as well check on Cassandra. Apparently... Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out with that. Apparently, ASP and the Hawk Knights were looking into some sort of criminal activity within the city. Um... The City Watch Captain will offer us a 500 gold piece reward each if we bring in those responsible for the murders of the patrons of the Crescent Moon Inn. Sounds good to me. Okay. The Hawk Knights, Chris. Yep. The Hawk Knights, in conjunction with ASP and a consultant of the Storm Dragon Merchant House, were investigating rumors consisting of the activities of two criminal organizations, the Viper Ring and the Silver Sheaf. The two said organizations are at war with one another and an outside third party intervening with both the organization's dealings. Uh, the third party is rumored to be the Four Ravens. Hmm. Somebody's got to keep a piece, honey. <laughs> um, and I give them those rings. Mm-hmm. You know. The Four Ravens, Terry, will tell you that The Viper Ring and the Silver Sheaf are trying to become a little too big for their britches. Ooh. I mean, they get to put somebody in this place. <laughs> and so, the Four Ravens in, uh, you no, know, because they're trying to use the Four Ravens for information. Yeah. And the Four Ravens are feeding them disinformation. <laughs> mm hmm no. Yep. No. Um, if we can take out members of either the Viper Ring or the Silver Sheaf, 
the four ravens will be most, most grateful. Will do. Okay. So, we all gather back and we tell each other what we got. Okay, we got somebody willing to pay us to find out who's, you know, who's behind it. And uh, we know that it's a, from the sound of it, it sounds like two rival criminal organizations are trying to um, start start something. Well, uh, we have not we've not yet gone to the Storm Storm Dragon Merchant House. Not yet. Yeah. We figured we'd do that as a group. Okay. Uh, now it's local to find out where they're located. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, you got it. Um, arriving at the merchant house. The Storm Dragon Merchant House is a two-story building made of dusty red brick with a black thatched wooden roof. A sign on the door reads, Closed. Who says what? Closed? Closed. Closed. The Storm Dragon Merchant House. Yeah, well, closed usually just knock? means that uh, Tarlana's doing some work. I'm gonna, uh... Do you want to knock on the door? No, oh, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, uh, check the handle to see if it was open and, you know, force it. <laughs> but, but if she wants to check it, I allow her first. Thank you. Okay. The door is closed. It is not locked. So we just go in. Okay. And as you go in, you do see that there is somebody inside sitting at a desk. Can I help you? business with us? I do, but you're supposed to go on lunch right now, and I slip her a platinum piece. Oh, okay, well you have to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what, so her up? <laughs> uh, wait, what, why are you involving me in this? You yes, need you need you, Sakura. <laughs> we kind of need you. Okay, I'll go. Better than mine. Alright, well, I'll try to butter her up a little bit here. You did, I buttered her palm with a platinum. Okay, <laughs> now I'll butter her up with some diplomacy as well. Okay. Yeah, not great, okay, but it's still yeah, work. Work. Okay, uh, you start asking questions and they will be able to uh, relay this. Uh, Tosian, who was a um, member of the uh, Storm Dragon House killed in the bar, was a silent man uh, keeping to himself and his studies under the master. And he who would this master be? No, hold on. He enjoyed the <laughs> art of bartering for selling and obtaining rare merchant supplies and items, especially silk from all over the realms. This is what he excelled in. The master will be disappointed with his passing. What's his name? Masturbation? Oh, oh God, God, Terry! And I thought that one was bad enough. That's <laughs> what's me. Um... around deck one too long. <laughs> all over the city. He believes that he, believes that he bartered mostly in the foreign quarter of the city. 
with the various embassies, most notably the Thabian and Sembian embassies. Um, and of course, since you buttered his palm and treated him nice, uh, the housemaster, Rivian Thaland, is not available. He's taking care of some orders and other business in the phone quarter and will not be back today. Uh, he will let you know that uh, he was that the uh, master was once a veteran warrior for the mighty kingdom of Thay before retiring and opening this fair business. Um, pretty much, uh, give me one more diplomacy check, Sakura. Okay. Okay. Oh, much better. So, so, uh, the master is in the foreign quarter. Would that be the Thavian embassy? That's a good possibility. And the guy goes, yeah, I believe he did have business there today, yes. Okay, so I take it we're going to the Fabian Embassy? Yeah, yep. might as well. Okay. Um... As you start heading up to the Thabian Embassy and you're walking down the street, out of nowhere, a severed hand flies from the top of a building, landing at your feet. Wow, they're really playing up these uh, separate body parts. Oh, so mature. Uh, I take it you're going to look at the hand? Yeah, let's... Uh... Uh, yeah. Okay, with a pointed stick. No. <laughs> um, you, it appears to have been severed by a bite or several bites, and it, it has been chewed upon. Okay. On the hand, it's a small ring. Yeah. Um, Trelana, you recognize yes. the ring as a silver sheep ring. Like that. AKA, yes. looks like the Viper Ring took care of somebody's. Yep. Okay. Continuing on towards the embassy to speak with Julian. Heading through the gates of the foreign district shortly after dusk. A large fire explosion erupts several hundred yards ahead of you. Oh. From the light left by this blaze, this would be. Ah! This, this map here. And. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. And these More creatures... Stinkies. These creatures... I don't think these are stinkies. These look like womp rats. No. Yantis. Oh, oh, snake folks. Snakey right. types. Alright. That's not sticky. Snakey. Oh, this looks not great in there. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'm on 13.08. Hello. 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 How are you doing? You did for me. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Weird. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Well, the just, are gonna go as a group. So, but I was a little interested in, so I went ahead and posted it. And, and, but, 
Not much. We're in the middle of a game right now here. Alrighty. I'll give you a call afterwards, okay? Alright. Mm, bye. Declan, you are in 24.09. Okay. Carolina is on 23.15. Sakura is going next week. Aurelia. Is going on 18.05. And Maroba. He's going next month. He's <laughs> going next month. Okay. Declan. At first? I can't. My, why is my initiative messed up? Uh, you are first. Yeah, I want to refresh and see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Because it's not showing up in the turn order here. Oh, I got it. It worked when I refreshed it. And my so we have to do the same thing. My uh, actually, it changed my whole map. It turned it around sideways. Uh, let me. It's not let me move it yet to find out where I. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Come on. It's a. Uh, Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm having to refresh. <laughs> uh, I am. I am. My, it's acting like crap for some reason. Um, I can see what it's like up there. I guess I'm just gonna um shoot arrows. Yeah, I'll start with. There you go, that guy. Alright. And uh, click on myself if I can. I think I can. And... There you go. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh, their AC is 16, so you hit all six times. I hate this. Uh, it takes forever to reload. 15. <sighs> And 1922. So the first two arrows take out that guy next. Okay, I can go now. Are you, you know, uh, Chris, are you going after this one? Yep. Or down the line? This, this one here? Yep. And then this one. Okay. One, 15, 1926. Oh. And so the third and fourth attack take out this guy. The I take you doing this guy next. Yep. The rapid shot, 1520, 28. Okay. The rapid shot actually gets this guy in one round. And speed. Speed attack on this one. Uh 1621. Okay, doesn't kill him. Okay. Kalana. Yes. I take you want to go up and kill this guy? Oh, yeah. All right. Single attack. You get sneakies. And I can use my... <laughs> and I can use my sword. I like that. All right. Well, the 11 points would kill him, the 50 points is extra blood and gore. Hey, guess what? I can charge. <laughs> So 
Sorry, guys. I'm having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, we'll do that. Okay, that's a crit. And a confirm with a 50. So that is all, uh, yeah, dead, deadness. And the regular say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine I, that I can see over here. Okay. Uh, and guess what? Those nine get to go. And guess what? Guess what they're gonna do? Attack. Or run like shit was. <laughs> That one? Yeah, hold on. I've got to reload again, guy. That's for some reason. This is really being nutsy. Yeah, roll 20 is being a bit of a bitch today. Back up. Character sheets almost back up. What the absolute? Oh, that hurt. Are you okay? Living daylight out of my yeah. back. Oh, well, like your uh, ear initiative change. Pretty sure it's Kira's turn. Yeah. Cures up on 14 or so. Can Sean reach this one? With what? Running or moving. So I see 5, 10, 15. Yeah, hold on, tell you a second. He's right there. Alright. No. No. Well, Actually, no, you can by charging. Okay, charge that one and wham with her new weapon. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe we can do that. Uh, uh, uh. So just make your check. Okay. And she will do. She will hit. And she will do. 17 points of damage. Yes. But it was really easy to hurt him. <laughs> They're wimps. Sakura? Uh huh. Okay, uh, let's see. You want to take these guys out right away here. Maybe take one or two of them alive because they can actually possibly talk to us. You can actually be seen about this. Uh, let's see. That might be better. Okay. Go ahead and move to there. It actually worked pretty good the last time we uh, tried this here, so let's see if we can uh, make this a little bit of a uh, stunning blow on them. Um, uh, yeah, here it is. We're going for the sound burst on them. Get 
gets all of them, right? Uh, yes, that should catch all. Okay. Uh, it is a fortitude. Uh, yep, fortitude DC 23. Take them out at our discretion. Yes, we can. Uh, pretty much, Merle won't even waste a spell. Uh, he'll just start slitting throats. Well, at least leave one or two of them a lot live. I'd like to question them if we can. Um, you do know this a trail of blood leading back here into an opening in the sewers. Hmm, another trail of blood, huh? Yep. You gonna follow it? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Descending into a, a small 40 by 40 square chamber with one exit in the southern wall. The entire eastern side of the chamber is cluttered in rubble, apparently from a structural collapse. Oh, goodness. Oh, good grief. So, uh, pretty much what you're going to do... Some passageways, and then, I can't wait to um, see you. and then finally you come into a 50-foot diameter chamber, laying skeletal remains of many types of small creatures, vermin mostly, and. You also see you're coming in here through here down the bottom. Yeah, I see it. And there are some guards in here. <laughs> Motorcycle going by. No, that was not me passing gas. <laughs> no, I know when you pass gas, trust me. <laughs> it's like, you know when I pass it. All right. And yeah, uh, we get to roll in it. Yep. <laughs> Declan's going first. Yeah. And he nat 20 <laughs> It's 
And Kira's did not take again, so I got it. Okay, thank you. It's stopped. You're welcome. Yeah. 13.03. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Now it's looking right. Um. Okay. Uh, we need Sakura. We need Sakura. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, Aurelia and Marova. Okay. Here's the, here comes Aurelia. Yeah. Oh, I am going next week. Yeah. Actually, Marova's going with you. <laughs> Moreau is going right before him. Okay, Chris, Declan is up first. Well, if I five foot step, I can blast a spell, right? Yeah. Five foot step here and lightning bolt that rope. Gazorch. So, let me see. Wait, is that a Gazorch or a. Uh... Yeah, that's a honk. Failed. Made it. Yep. Failed. And failed. Way failed. <laughs> Do you recall when I send you a mini? Is it should it be a PNG? Yeah. Okay. Uh Chris. Yes. The one that made the save mm -hmm. takes absolutely no damage. Okay. He's a rogue. He's a rogue, he's got evasion. I just flip him the bird. Trelana. Yes, sir. I'm going to come up here. Next round, I'll pepper him full of arrows. Okay. See how he likes that. <laughs> and I get one attack, right? Single attack, you move 10 feet. Um... Yeah, that will hit and confirm, and since he ain't gone yet, yeah, that sneak attack dice kills him. <laughs> Yay, me. <laughs> I take it they ain't got shit for hit points. They don't have shit for hit points. Don't get attacked by four of them, Tolana. Son of a bitch! Why is it always me? I'm cute! Don't no raise any twenties to hit you. Yeah, you're up front. Missed. Not a twenty. Not a twenty. Missed. Failed. Massive. Missed. 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 Okay. Miss. Okay. They all missed me. <laughs> they missed you. Okay. You missed me. You missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. Kira. Well, I might as well just shoot out. Um. Oh, she can go ahead and do the, uh. Um. Do the uh, move up and do one attack with their. Uh... Yeah, I can't. I need to... Can you need it? 
for him. Okay, uh, text. Okay. She moved up, she attacked once for 13 damage on this one. And this seemed really easy to hit him because, um, his effective armor class was 13. Aurelia gets to move up five foot step. Actually, Aurelia will be able to do this. She'll be able to get two of them. Five foot step behind Trelana. So she can do the full attack action. Okay, the first attack missed. Because that was a nat one. Yeah. The second attack hits for 26 points of damage, which kills him. I can then cleave. Actually, cleaving finish. Because he killed, because he, because he died, and get him, and he's dead. Okay, Maroba. <laughs> My Maroba. I'm gonna have that stupid song in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> As if I haven't had the theme song to WKRP in Cincinnati to my head all week. Um. Anybody got straw? Uh, nope. <laughs> Dead. They can't even make the save. I mean, they can't even if they save. It's more damage than they can withstand. Dead. And dead. And then I'll use my pearl to get the spell back. Okay. Uh, continuing on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you go through a tunnel, another thousand feet, blah, 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 um, you come to a door, the what? door is, you gonna check it, you gonna check it first? I would certainly suggest we do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is locked. It is trapped. It ain't trapped no more. <laughs> it was a trap with a glyph of warning. Um. Okay. So, you make it through there. 
Um. You uh, come to an hallway. Guess what? Um. Come to another. Come to another door. Check it out. Yep. No. Yeah. Locked, trapped. Someone obviously values their privacy. <laughs> uh, okay, get to it. And you go through that door, and you see <coughs> this. Holy crap. The VRTs are, are human. The Ys are Yantis. Okay. L looks like we've uh, interrupted a training montage. Yep. <laughs> Which means we get to roll for initiative. Um. Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, Tom, are you hearing something about the Mackinac Bridge being closed due to a bomb threat? I haven't seen the news yet today. Yeah, apparently this is happening. This is apparently happening right now. I haven't seen right the news now. today. Yeah, there was a bomb threat this afternoon on the Mackinac Bridge. Nothing found. And the bridge is now reopened. Okay, so this is a... Looks like about it was two just hours a threat. ago. Yeah. Closing, it's a safety precaution. And good lord, it looks like I'm going first. I believe the term is in this case there, since we've uh, obviously interrupted a training montage. I wish to fight the real American champion. If he dies, he dies. I'm warned next year, but I don't know where It's okay, there? sweetie. Are you it's doing okay. a little Ivan Drago there, Dennis? Uh-huh. Alright, Tom, I sent you uh, Kira's new mini, so when we get done, we can put that in. Alright. Uh, let's see. Alana, Declan, Sakura, Kira, which means... Kira's blue phase. <laughs> I like Bobo. Bobo's cute. We were watching uh, another streaming channel. <laughs> yes, the other day, and uh, the character in there has one of those new druids from D and D that have. They're connected to fire, and it's about like cleansing the forest of like nasty. Uh, <laughs> oh God! It's uh, a a, a druid fire elementalist. Yeah, and it's uh the animal companions are like fire creatures. Fire and, method, uh, stuff like that. She rolled a critical hit to hit the bad guy, and the DM asked how they wanted to do that. Like, what did that look like? And she said that he like. Basically, the, the he like Please don't. she had out like a big old like hot cinder and threw it and splatted it across her face. You know? Oh, jeez! Like, yeah. See, I would just apply to his crotch. Oh my God, Tom! Oh hell yeah! A little monkey. She had a monkey like you know Bobo basically, oh, yeah. but it's made of fire, so it shat, it shat fire like a flaming shit biscuit that she threw in its face. <laughs> a flaming shit biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, Tulana, you're up first. Yes, sir. I take it, dude. Yeah, oh, you know I want to use my sword. <laughs> Are you moonwalking? You're going backwards. <laughs> no, I'm not. 
You gotta grab your crotch and go hee hee. <laughs> I think I did that. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll get one attack. Uh, it will it will uh, be a crit, but it will not confirm. However, you did do 67 points of damage to him. And a 360 attack. <laughs> okay. Declan! Yep. You're up. Alright, let's see. You're up, buttercup. Oh, that's a nice fireball line, too. Um, this line right here. Lightning bolt it? Lightning bolt. Okay. I have to step like this, but, uh, I think. Anyway, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The oh, you know humans what? have reflex, reflex plus five. So let's see. Cone on a sixty. On a, is it a sixty foot cone? On a cone of cold? Mm. I think so. Yep. I think it is. I wonder how big that would be. Like, what would that? Ah, uh, very big. Nora. Yeah. Like if I if I was gonna do that. Oh, if you moved right up to like here, yeah, and you did a sixty foot cone, yes. Okay, first of all, you could get to pretty much this line right here okay and what would that how many of them would that hit that would hit far more than one two mind. three four five six seven eight uh i will say these two over here would not get caught in it however these two would and pretty much everybody to the right of them up okay. to that line up there I'll do that instead, then I'll, I'll roll it. Okay, go to Cole. Because that will hit everybody. Yeah, or most of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 38 points of damage. DC 23, okay. I'm going to start off it's with... It's a reflex. The, I'm going to start off the, with the humans because they're rogues and they can use evasion. People aren't used yep. to deck and casting their spells so often. No. Okay. If they if they fail if they fail they die. Sweet. All right. Start Dead. with them. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Deader than dead. 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 Very dead. Uh, made it. Took no damage. That's this one right here. Dead. dead. Made it. The made, it, made it took no damage. Dead. Dead? Remember, I haven't even rolled for the Yanti yet. I think I skipped one. Which one? This one over here? Oh, you just took off now. Okay. And then that guy, yeah. Well, this guy over here. Oh. This guy, this guy here. He made it, and then one more made it. And and then this guy over here made it. Three of them made it. 
No, two. Um, two of them made it. Oh, okay. Dead. Dead. Oh. Now, the Yanti. Yeah. The only thing is, the Yanti do not, I believe, do not have uh, evasion. So if they make the save, they're just taking half damage. Okay. Okay. Here we go. First guy here. Dead. Gotta be fresh, never frozen. Yeah, it's always fresh. Yeah, well, it's gonna be, uh, shall we say. Get food? Yeah. That's what's left. What? What's on the board? Yeah, that was badass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sakura? Uh, yeah, like I said, man, this beef better be fresh there because I'm about to char broil it. Who? Oh, Firestorm. Uh, I'm in the whole room, right? Uh, pretty much. Alright, uh, for 63 damage. Yep. And it's a reflex. Okay, that would be 31 before anything. Right. None of them have 31 hit points. <laughs> I'm mad. That was such a horrid object. Man, they got ice stormed, and like immediately it followed when they got, got, got blasted with fire. <laughs> <like, laughs> it's so cold in here. Oh no. It's yeah, so I, <laughs> no, someone fix the AC, please. <laughs> God, we're okay. just... That was like three seconds. Boom, boom! <laughs> I'm dead. It was an easy battle. Yeah. Bye-bye. I'm a search. I like the easy battles. Oh, yeah. I could always run a perception check to see if there's anything. Uh, you know, if I, you'll find some stuff. 
Um, oh, it would. <sighs> oh, look, I look like ash. <laughs> hey, wait, there's a bunch of them. There's a whole bunch. <laughs> okay. Uh, really not much here. Uh, let me see here. We did that one. We did that one. And you come to this room. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. More of them. Yep. This guy's Which just means nuts. another fight. Let me, let, me let me clear the initiative. They're going to meet Thanos. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I think Thanos is up due up this time. Yeah. All right, roll your nits. It's okay, dokie. Okay. Oh my god, I'm going first again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I expect you to go first. That's what we pay you the big bucks for. I went yeah. first. This is true. How did I say you? Damn, not 20? <laughs> yeah, thanks. And looks like Aurelia is going next week. <laughs> nope, Marova is going next week. Okay, Toronto's up first. I know, I know. And they are well away from you guys. Uh, you might be able to move 30 and shoot a bow, but you ain't going to reach them this round. Okay, you can move up to there. Oh! And she shoots. But you. So I take it you were shooting at this guy here, right? Yeah. Alright. It'll take three. You missed the crit. Damn it. Because I rolled that one, that's why. Yep. Now, this is what's going to happen. Five, ten. What's Sakura going to do? Hmm, I'm not doing anything yet. Okay. If I know you, it's going to be bringing me Thanos. I believe I said that. Yep. I believe you said that. <laughs> I think Shira's going to bring Thanos, too, if it requires to. Thanos is going to make short work of this. Oh, 
for me to click on a spell without casting it like just look at it yeah if you well if you go into the uh um compendium okay those guys all moved you can see that they pretty much went so went right so went left yeah yeah um I don't know what the range is. I'm like, cone, a cone starts right from me, right? Right, so, and then it's 60 yeah. cut out. 60 so, feet. Okay. What about, I could ice storm them. You could ice storm them, you could fireball them. Otherwise, I can dimension door over here and then do a cone next you time. Could, you could also fireball them. Fireball is long range. Yeah, I could fireball these guys. You could fireball them. You can fireball any group you wanted. They're all in the range. I'm gonna... I'll fireball these guys that don't have reflex. Okay. Uh, no, they don't have much of a color. Okay, so... Uh, where's the fireball? Wait. Okay. 
all failed it. Only one of them made it, right? Yeah, him. Yeah. So this guy still yeah. got a roll. Or no, he's. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. hold on. Yeah, I got a roll for him. I, I didn't see him. Sorry. Oh, you. Know, it's fine. okay. <laughs> Camouflaged in the poop. <laughs> Tell me you did oh. not hear that. I did hear that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Sakura. It was not meant to be heard. Yes. <laughs> it was heard and recorded. It was streamed. Yep. Oh, my God. So it is captive is audience. Is there any you can edit that? <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, hold tight. Thank you, because I don't think anybody wants to hear what I just did. No, probably not. No, <laughs> yes, so, uh, yeah, I... Give, give that thing some reverb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's... Uh, no, that's only a 30-foot cone as well, so... Yeah, yeah slow it down and put some vibrato on it. Oh, <laughs> good lord, Tom! Uh, remind me to kill him. Yeah, uh, a proof is requested. <laughs> Yeah. Is murder approved as requested? Thank Indeed. you. Indeed. Okay. Uh, double move done. Well, well, if murder is approved, then Teresa Renee. You know, oh God! Oh, okay, you are okay. Dead. okay. You oh. are dead. <laughs> <laughs> I have told you never to use my full name. I think you only got a three quarter of the way there. Yeah. Uh, double move and done. So. You know I prefer wow. to go by princess. I think I will change your name to Schmoopy Butt Daddy Bear. Remember, but no response? <laughs> I don't remember Tom's middle name. Is it Patrick? <laughs> yep, Tom's middle name is Patrick. Patrick. We had a long discussion about full names yesterday. <laughs> well, since Moo is approved and she's gonna kill me anyways, might as well get the dig in while I can do it. <laughs> well... Keep it rolling. Oh, you know I love you. Okay. I love my uh, daddy bear, you know that. They double move, guys. Okay. Morova. Kira. Really? A quick, oh, Kira. Kira, you want to bring Thanos, don't you? Sure. Yeah, we're uh, gonna, we gotta get closer. Thanos. It's Thanos, Thanos got, it just gets one group, right? Yeah, the problem uh, is the uh, range is a problem right now. Well, she's where's she at? I can move. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to move a lot closer though. She can definitely move. Well, she can do a f what a full move and still cast it. Um, yeah, yeah. you'd have. To... No, she can do a thirty foot move and cast. Yeah, but the problem is, uh, bring me Thanos is only a thirty foot uh, the radius around you, so she's gonna have to. Uh... It's seven, uh, um, yeah, it's seven, seven, what about seven, firestorm? Firestorm is a much better idea. Yeah. So firestorm. Yeah. Yes. I will. Okay. That sounds good. Let's see how much you can get. Next round, I can get you closer to those turds. I'm gonna. And that's just being nice when you <laughs> insult them. I'm gonna open a dimension door. <sighs> Here you go. And yes, babe, I promise not to change your name to Schmoopy, but... 54 okay. damage, DC 27 save. <laughs> Two 10-foot cubes per level. And yeah. the range is 280 feet, which means she can get everybody. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she, I think two, that's 2 10-foot, so... At what? 50, 54, huh? Yeah. Yep. God, I hate it. I hate this mob being set that low level. 
<laughs> uh, okay, anyways, let's see what happens. See these guys on uh, the left side of the map? Yep. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, okay. See these guys on the right side of the map? Yep. No, you don't. <laughs> there was no way they could make the save. No. Even if they made the save, the damage is more than double than they can withstand. Yeah. So, even if they uh, save for half, it would still be more hit points than they had. <laughs> They'd still be dead. Yep. And so, uh, you continue on, you continue. And you finally come to to the final room. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Looks like a frickin' maze. It's a labyrinth. <laughs> We're on a spaceship now. <laughs> and as you come up to the door, Sakura gets a headache. Oh! Oh! oh. Shoot. It's one of those, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's a DMZ. What's this? Dead magic zone. Oh. I didn't feel it. Uh, uh you're not a piece of mystery. Yeah, we I think it's trapped. <laughs> probably is. Well, I just uh, rolled a nat 20 on that. Well, let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, six. one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I got him. Okay. Uh, it is not trapped, it was locked. And now it's no longer locked. So who's taking point? Uh, answer? Not me. So mine. I'll take point. Or uh, Aurelia. Go for it. Aurelia will take point and she will say one thing to you guys before she walks through. Oh? Stay close to me. Try not to get your boots too bloody. Uh, that's what we have for statistication. Oh, fudge, I'm going first. <laughs> oh, fart nuggets. <laughs> wow! I do that. That's actually something I learned from my sister. <laughs> if I'm trying to keep my cool and I want to curse, just go, oh, fart nuggets. <laughs> Going at a plus five. What the hell am I gonna do? I can't 
believe Marova rolled a 21.02. No. I, I didn't do that. Oh, hello. I'll see y'all next week. Next week? Yeah. Next year. Yeah, because that was a nat one. <laughs> okay, Terlana. Yes, sir. You go through, you see one guy down here. You want to drag him? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, oh I guess uh, you drag him. Uh, there's his buddy right there. Uh, you get one attack. Uh, these guys have not gone. You do get sneakies. He's dead. Jacqueline? Yep. They don't have shit for hit points. <laughs> You're coming through here. Uh, they, uh, you have a Yanti down here in range. Uh, okay. I shoot him. Like 50 times. You gonna pep, you gonna pep him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit, there are only one. There you go. See? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ. That thing got plugged up against the wall. Okay. Meanwhile, I look back at Sakura asking how she's feeling now. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't want to know. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah. You have oh, heard God. You have heard the last Sir, of I us. protest. I am not a merry man. No. You have heard the last of us. Whack, 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 whack. You've heard the last of us. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14, 20. Okay. Your second attack kills this guy. Okay. And I guess that's it for me. <laughs> okay, what's Morova got planned? Morova sees these guys down here. He double moved, however. Actually, yeah. He double moved. He'll do something next round. Kira? You gonna come in? Uh, I'll use the hash to double move. Um, what's Bobo's speed? A 40, I think. He could get up here with Moroba. But, uh, well, if Kira wants, if she could whack on the CNT with her, uh, oh, uh staff. there is one there, right? Yep. I was gonna say, you can unleash Bobo to go down that corridor. You need to make Bobo dig and send his ass. Oh, he won't work down here. Dang it. Yeah, right. Big Bobo. Ouch. That was a nat one. Yep, I missed. Okay. The Yanti are gonna go. Uh. Seven. Well, unfortunately, that missed. You guys yeah. are too high for that. Actually, he'll duck in here. Okay. Yeah, these guys get to attack Morova. Missed. That's missed. 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 And missed. Because this guy would actually come to here, and this guy would actually come to here. Okay. 
Aurelia. Sorry, Bobo. She'll attack one of these guys. All right. She attacks this guy, do 28 points of damage to him, killing him. Sakura? That's, yeah, that's... We actually left you a couple. Yes, I hope I move down here. I at least have a shot on this guy here. So, a bunch one attacks, and we're in a DMZ. Come on. There, there it is. Yeah. No, I had, um, uh, first attack only, so AC 30. Okay. Okay, this guy takes six points of damage. Yeah, that's all I can do right now. Okay. Tolana? Yes, sir. Okay, you got this guy next to you. You may dual wield. You will not get sneakies. Oh god, this is gonna be ugly. Okay. First attack. You do 16 points of damage. Second attack. You do 13 points of damage, and he dies from that. All right, Declan? Yeah, you're back. <laughs> if you want to move up here, right next to here, you can see this guy right here. No, I want to I wanna try and tumble and go around here. Okay, acrobatics check. Okay. Uh, lost kills. Wow. Dang, Matt, 20 to that one. Um. Yeah. I can still do one shot, right? Yep. This guy here is, this guy here has already been damaged. Yeah, 19, 20, 22 points of damage, which would bring him to 28, which would kill him. How do you like the acrobatics there, Carrie? Like them. Mine are good too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, missed the first attack, hit the second attack for five points. Andrea's over there humming, I'll tumble for ya. <laughs> I'll tumble for ya. I'll Kira, tumble you're up. for ya. Kira, yeah. you can five, well, you can move here and attack this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Oh, Owie, owie, owie. It's like somebody stepped on my damn toe. Actually, no, she actually 
I have to go to the first stack. She getting critted. <laughs> right. Me. Um. Thirteen, fifteen, twenty-three. Gee, and that five that Marilla took off will no, kill him. Hurts. Okay. You know that there was one down here. He's actually moving in here. So. Aurelia will double move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Are there any windows on these walls or anything? No. Okay, Aurelia gets there with a double move. Sakura? And it looks like it's going to be a double move here as well, also. Let's see where it's going. Yeah. Do we have a pass wall? Yeah, but magic dead area. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. So, Lana? Yes? You want a double move? Oh, yeah. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, right behind Aurelia. Declan, double move, buddy. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, guess what? You can see him. These, this area here is cells, as in jail type cells. They got shooters. That's cool. <laughs> I can uh, pick a lot. I can't shoot him or nothing, so I just yell at him. Well, say, I found you, buddy. And Kira, of course, will go. Don't move. And Bubble, and Bubble will scamper, scamper after us. Bobo loves to scamper at me. This guy goes into one of the cells. Okay. Aurelia would double move and say, uh oh, there are people in these cells, and it looks like he's going to kill one of them. She double moved to do that? Yep. Who can, uh, who's next? Kira? Uh, not Kira. Sakura. Sakura, does she have to Sakura. double? Yep. yep. Alright, so where's every... I think I can see it. He is in the cell getting ready to kill a hostage. But I can single move and get to him and shoot that fucker. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna, like... When I get here, I'm going to tumble right through that door and shoot him in the face. Okay, so... Hold on, just so I understand this correctly there. This is the cell we're trying to get to, right? Yes. I'll tumble for ya. Uh, I can get you. How do you do that? By the, uh... The line. Is that polygon line that does that? Uh, if you... Hold down the left mouse button and then uh, you know, right click on it uh, while you're holding the mouse button. You can do that. Okay, so I can. Yeah, hold down the. If you got the uh, ruler tool there, uh, snap to center. You know, or hold down the left mouse button to do that. And then rather than uh, let go of it, uh, right click instead. Yeah. About got online. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Alright, so I get to there. Um, and do nothing. <sighs> Remember, he's in here. Yeah, I see it. Uh, give me a moment. <sighs> and we're in a DMZ, never mind. And in that case, then I move to there and done. 
I have no shot. Okay, Tarana. I yes. I take it. I take. It's over. I can't get it to work. Oh, no snapping. Snap to Kamala. Well, Tolana. Double move right in. Can actually get. She can double move and get right in there with him. Cool. But, she can attack. Right. Okay. I can still attack now. Definitely now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, how about big boy? Yep. Let's shoot him in the face. One attack, but you get to you get to shoot him. Yeah. And it, and it will disrupt him. Bang. Yeah. Fourteen, nineteen, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Wow. He's now a single digit midget. An arrow and swoosh. And. <laughs> Look at that. It was a 48 armor class. Try to get as close as possible, right? Kira will go right there. Bubba will follow suit. Okay. He's gonna try to attack the wizard. He's going to try to attack the wizard? He missed the wizard. At which point, Aurelia comes thrusting in. How badly is it done? It's done. Yeah. He had two hit points left. Oops. There are prisoners in these cells. We can release them. Yay. We release the prisoners. Sounds good to me. Okay. Are these like giant propane tanks? I have no idea. Are they propane and propane accessories? <laughs> okay. The City Watch, ASB, and, assorting, and an assortment of knights, mostly gold roosters, come busting in just as the battle is ending. They run up what members of the ring they can, which are pretty much none, because you kill them. Uh, and they start releasing the prisoners. Later that day, the watch captain calls you forth and gives you a combination for in your efforts for eliminating the Viper Ring. Um, several days later, you find out from a trumpet, trumpeter article that the alleged leader of the Viper Ring head was follow, was found decapitated and his head posted on a pike in the merchant district on many coins way. The head had three carved ravens into his forehead and another on the back of his head. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I knew we were violent. <laughs> yeah. And they had their most efficient killer do that. 
AKA their cute little murder machine. Ooh, I like you when I murder. Yeah, you, this, <laughs> this was cold blooded murder. Hey. It's not my fault, I love murder. Alright. Good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but I am a cute little murder machine. One magic item in this adventure. But then we got Declan and Jelana's armor. Okay. The one magic item is a cloak of concealment. This cloak allows the wearer to become invisible as per the spell twice a day. When invisible, the cloak muffles sounds around the wearer, giving you a plus 10 circumstance bonus to stealth check. That's not bad. Sounds pretty cool, but I think we've all got cold slats. Yeah, but that might actually be a party treasure, just in case we need to, say, sneak Aurelia around. Yeah, yeah or anybody, really. We could, might find a prisoner we need to sneak around somewhere. Party treasure? Yeah, yeah. let's party treasure yeah. it. PT that. Because that is relatively useful. Yeah, it is. Okay, Declan gets the Glamour Hustling Spell Store and Best of Armor plus 5 of Greater Shadow. I got it right. I got it right. And Tulani gets the Glamour Ghost Touch Stun Leather Armor plus 5 of Greater Shadow and Moderate Fortification. Can you type that in the text? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on the cert. I don't want to wait till it'll be in the cert. I got my sheet. I got, I got my best of armor. I got a cell. So. There we go. Ow. 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 Oh god, I'm so, too old for this crap. <laughs> uh, the glamour means I can work like magic might. That would mean to look like your clothing if you wanted to. Right, right. Or, 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 Could he look like Betty Boop? Or a pimp outfit or whatever. Right, right. I thought we turned him into Betty Boop. I said Betty turn Boop. Him Daddy G Pimp. Got very quiet here all of a sudden. Oh, Lord, I think my stays the same, but I've got the extra features. Right? Right? Stupid phones. Hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, XP will be 100,000, which means we leveled. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and since we are not selling anything, money. Money, 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 money. I think the goose is in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to go back to bed after this. Fifty divided by six uh, plus five hundred each. Okay, and we'll come out to gold pieces will be five hundred and forty-two each. Okay. Damn, I can handle that. I would prefer more. I would prefer more as well, but we can handle that because. Well, you saw the battles we went through. That was night approved. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, now, the night approved module. This is what we get. A night of the hawk. Mm -hmm. We'll get a bronze hawk ring. Oh, nice. I haven't had that one before. Yep, and... Dennis and I get shift points. Okay, sounds good. All right, let me see here. Um, uh, 
And then. All right, guys. Uh, anything else we need to uh, take care of, or are we good to go? I think we're good to go. Uh, remember yep. to upgrade your character sheet. Uh, that's easy uh, enough there. Just change a couple numbers and... Tom, did you say you wanted to do that after, or you want to wait till a different day? Um...